What's going on, everybody? It's Ryan Mills back with another exciting episode of New Heights Wrestling. We're being joined at this time by the Suicidal Soldier, one of our fan favorites here in NHW. The uh, head of talent relations, James David Royson, has invited the soldier to come down and give a few words to our fans. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, stick by as we'll hear from the soldier here in just a second. We've all seen it on social media, you and Jay Rose going back and forth. You talked about it, you asked for it tonight, you get your chance in the Pride Championship. Where's your head at going into this match? First off, to every member of the camouflage entourage in here. <laughs> Shout out to every one of y'all. As far as my head, my head is always where it's been focused, determination. Keep your heart! Watch your back, right. Exactly. Uh -oh. Watch your back. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Thank 
kill. That's the main event. No, right now. He thinks he's so big and bad. He wants it right now. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get an opportunity to see the NHW Pride Championship defended. Wow, an impromptu match as JL Rose comes down with his manager Justin Michaels and does a little smack talk and all of a sudden we have a championship match. You know, there's the intimidation factor that we so many times see with J.L. Rose, the big dog. He's got a size advantage in this match, really big size advantage, as you can see. And intimidation is his game. It's what he likes to do. Not only does he use that size to beat you down physically, but he's also got a very strong mental game. He uses his intimidation to get inside the minds of his opponents, beats them down mentally before they're ever beaten down physically. And so he is such a dangerous wrestler in so many ways, using the psychological game as well as the physical game. So, But I tell you what, Suicidal Soldier is one of the best that we got in NHW. He's going to be using his speed and quickness to try and do a little bit of damage and nullify the strength and power that J.L. Rose has. So this is a typical David versus Goliath matchup. And wow, look at that soldier not taking anything from J.L. Rose, popping right back up after he was shoved down, saying, hey, you can push me down all you want. I'm going to get right back up. You are in for a fight tonight. And the, with the title on the line, we know he's going to bring everything that he has. So J.L. Rose tosses Soldier across the ring one more time. Again, the big strength and size advantage to the champion's favor. And speaking of the champion's favor, we always have to remember that J.L. Rose is not alone in this matchup. On the outside, the voice Justin Michaels. I know he's not a crowd favorite, but you can't deny the stable of talent that he has in Untamed Defiance. One of the best, if not the best, in all of professional wrestling. And say what you want about his tactics, they're not very popular, but they do get results. He's had multiple champions uh, in the heavyweight championship. He's had tag team champions, and he has the current NHW Pride champion, NJL Rose. So uh, an incredible, incredible group of young men. And boy, you see the power of JL Rose once again running right through the suicidal soldier on that shoulder tackle. What a strong takedown as the champion stalks his prey. So he does find his way back to his feet. And this match will resume here as the uh, champion goes in after him. But Soldier ducks under using that speed and quickness that I talked about earlier, delivering some hard right hands. And looks like going to try to Irish whip him. But all oh, the power of J.L. Rose not going to be outdone. And Soldier's thrown over the top rope. Boy, nice insecurity caught him right to the side of the head. And Soldier setting him up, goes underneath, comes in, and a side kick. Can't quite take him down. Going to try a drop kick now. Once again, J.L. Rose staggered but not falling. To the ropes yet again. Soldier comes in and Rose picked him up. And, oh, Soldier got a double drop kick right, right to the chest. And the champion to the outside. Soldier coming over the top, caught him, and gets him down. He did a whole suicide dive plancha over the top rope, landed right on top of the champion, 
pounding away with fist, and boy, the suicidal soldier taking every advantage he can here tonight, and he is going to need it. J.L. Rose, an incredible wrestler and champion, so the soldier's going to have to be 100% on top of his game if he wants a shot at the Pride Championship, and that is exactly what he does. And now we see Justin Michaels blocking the way uh, for Soldier to get over there. And man, oh, what a tough shot on the, the the timekeeper's table there at ringside. JL Rose just picked him up and threw him on there and now gonna pick him up and toss him back into the ring. You see the power on display as he's between the middle and the top ropes there. And a uh, little encouragement from Justin Michaels. And the champion looking to resume the beatdown of the soldier. Oh, but the soldier caught JL coming into the ring, kicked the middle rope as the champ was trying to climb inside. And I don't have to tell you where that connected. That had to be very, very painful. Just as painful as these kicks we see going to the hamstrings right now. And the challenger trying to get an upper hand trying to swing the momentum back in his favor now. Numerous right hands, right to the side of the head. Champion staggered a little bit. Soldier ducks under the clothesline. Springboard gets the kick right in the side of the head, and down goes the champion. He teetered for a while, but he finally fell over. And with the uh, shooting star press, one. Oh, and a one count only. Whew, got a long way to go. Does Suicidal Soldier to beat down J.L. Rose. But right now, he's doing a good job of staying on top of his opponent, not giving him time to recover. That's very good ring savvy. Of course, Soldier's been in this business for a long time, so he definitely has that knowledge. Another solid, incredible move there. Going to get a cover. And this time, we do to get a two count before J.L. Rose is able to kick out. Soldier resting on the top turnbuckle now, gonna shoot off of the second turnbuckle. We'll see what type of move he has in store here. Oh man, doesn't matter what it was, J.L. Rose caught him in midair. Thought we were gonna see a fall away slam. He puts him up on his shoulder. Looks like maybe a running power slam, and that's what it is. He is down hard. And it's kind of surprised that Rose isn't going for a cover right now. Uh, this would be a great time. Soldier's been motionless there on the ground for a while. Could have easily been a three count and could have had this thing wrapped up. Guess J.L. Rose still reeling from some of the punishment he took earlier. Uh, he finally does get a cover in. It's only a two count. He goes right to a uh, reverse chin lock. Referee in great position there, making sure that that is indeed a legal chin lock and not a chokehold. Soldier trying to get some momentum going, asking for the crowd to cheer for him a little bit. He's trying to work his way to his feet. J.L. Rose trying to hold on now as we get some hard right hands to the midsection. Hard knife edge chop. Soldier back to the ropes. And Rose cuts him off with a back elbow. A huge back elbow right to the chin. And the jaw of the soldier rocked hard. And man, he felt that one really really hard. That was a brutal shot, ladies and gentlemen. Champion talking smack to the crowd. Kind of losing focus a bit. Of course, he still feels that he is in physical domination so far, and, and uh, the results would speak for themselves. And he's taking Soldier and tosses him to the outside of the ring. suit of the soldier and he's coming over to the timekeepers area and telling telling those guys to move out of the way I don't know if he's gonna get himself disqualified here or not of course he's not using a weapon putting somebody through a table I guess isn't illegal but wow he takes soldier and just slung him right across the table 
and dumped him on the concrete. And ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, unlike some promotions, New Heights Wrestling does not have any padding at all around the ring. So that was right off the table and straight down on the concrete. And look at JL Rose. That's not only the timekeeper that he is getting in the face of, ladies and gentlemen. That is Paul Jordan's brother. And he is, uh, he is our official timekeeper here at New Heights Wrestling. And I tell you what, that's a family you do not want to make angry. And wow, Soldier coming off the apron. And, and, and J.L. Rose caught him. Oh, and he puts him right against the ring post. And a hard knee to the midsection. So just as I was talking about J.L. Rose uh, talking smack to Paul Jordan's brother, Soldier comes out of nowhere. Tried to catch him by surprise, but the champion not caught off guard. Oh, and he's just tossed the suicidal soldier right on top of Paul Jordan's brother on the outside of the security rope. What in the world? J.L. Rose is insane, ladies and gentlemen, and his power and domination, once again, incredible. He's not scared of anyone or anybody and doing everything he he wants to, quite frankly, doing whatever he wants to as the pride champion. Crawls back in the ring and, uh, well, now he comes back out. I thought he was gonna see if he could get Soldier counted out there, but he comes back out and goes right after him again. And man, look at the defiance, looking in the face of authority there as our president of talent relations, James David Royce. But you know, I guess that's what the group that uh, Justin Michaels has, has gotten together stands for. They call themselves Untamed Defiance. And so I guess this is uh, very indicative of their actions. Rose does go in to break the count. Doesn't want to get a double count out. Looks like he wants to inflict some more punishment on the suicidal soldier, bringing him right in front of the fans and delivering a hard right hand. Letting the fans get an up close and personal view of the destruction of JL Rose. Pride champion crawling back in the ring now. Continues to stalk his prey. Gonna get a very, very lackadaisical cover there. Just one foot on the chest. Gonna try it again. And that time only gets a one count. Very disrespectful gesture by J.L. Rose. And I tell you what, man, Suicide Assault, you can't take this guy lightly. And this is why. Coming back with a combination kicks and chops to the chest. Goes in. But J.L. Rose picks him up and he's got him in a bear hug. And you see those huge hands clasped very tightly around the lower back, the lumbar region of the suicidal soldier talking about that L7 to L12 vertebrae down there is being just wrenched right now by the strength and power of this bear hug. This is a devastating submission hold right here and the suicidal soldier is in a bad way but gonna try to find his way out of it. Coming in with some forearm shots to the forehead. Rose ducks under and oh man, caught him in a power slam. Just as it looked like soldier was getting some momentum Ducking under that clothesline, coming back. Man, Rose catches him off guard. Huge power slam, but gets a two count. And you can see JL looking somewhat mildly frustrated now. He's dealt out a lot of punishment. I bet he was thinking in the back of his head that that was going to be it. But not yet. Soldier, man, like I said, he is very resilient, very tough. Been doing this a long time. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep him down and out. So. Uh, still got a long way to go in this match, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure, as both men have taken their share of punishment. But both guys are still in there fighting for it all. And you see J.L. Rose going for that knee shot. Soldier moved out of the way. J.L. took the knee to the turnbuckle. Now the hard right hands. And the soldier backing him in. Got an Irish whip. No, Rose reverses it. Ducks the clothesline, does the soldier, brings him in, grabs him in. Right there in the middle of the ring. The champ's head went right to the canvas. A great move by Suicidal Soldier. And this will buy him a little bit of time to get some recovery. To the ropes he goes. Stands on top. Does a beautiful backflip and lands right on top of the challenger's back. Gonna roll him over. See if we can get a lateral press out of this. And the champion kicks out at two, but also 
grabs Soldier in the same motion. Gonna pick him up and oh, thought he's gonna get a fallaway slam. Soldier lands on his feet. Kick to the mid section. Hard right hand. Picks up the champ. Oh, but the champ reverses. Bailey kick by Soldier. Wow, bunch of reversals there by both guys. That Pele kick connected very hard. And now Soldier has an opportunity to do something here. We're gonna see the, the instant replay of that. You see Rose tossed him over. Boom, you see the foot connect right there as the challenger goes down. Soldier going up to the top rope now. Shooting star press from the top connected. Very solid connection on that move. And we're gonna get a quick cover. And the champion just able to kick out. Oh man, the momentum in this matchup has swung completely in the way of Suicidal Soldier right now. He doesn't need to take his time and get his breath. I know he's tired, I know he's beaten down, but he needs to stay on top of the champion right now. This is when the time is coming. It looks like oh, Justin Michaels jumping up on top of the apron here to distract Soldier who was going to go for his incredible finishing move. And this is, you can't allow yourself to get distracted in these situations. I know the champion is waiting. Oh, but Soldier able to duck out of the way. He got him again with a Pele kick. Wow. Incredible ring awareness by the Soldier. A couple of right hands going to run in. Rose picks him up and just throws him down. And the distraction, I guess you could say, paid off by Justin Michaels. As you see, the power once again of Jay Rose picks up the champ and tossed him back to the middle of the squared circle. And man, you see where he landed really hard and flat on his midsection. Very lucky to be bringing this match to you once again an impromptu match here tonight for the NHW Pride Championship you heard Justin Michaels talk about he heard what's the the comments the suicidal soldier had made on the NHW podcast which you can find links to at nhwpro.com uh, you definitely want to go there and find out everything that we have about all of our wrestlers on roster upcoming schedules and events as well as uh, some of your favorite wrestling matches that we do feature on YouTube. They'll also be linked on our website and, of course, the NHW podcast. We have uh, lots of interviews with NHW superstars and even some WWE Hall of Famers on there, like the one Bullet Bob Armstrong. So very happy to have all kinds of podcasts available to you on the website. Man, tell you what, J.L. Rose had an incredible sit-out move there as he is going up to the top rope. This is not something we see very often from J.L. Rose. And it looks like Soldier got the top rope. And maybe that's why we don't see the big man go up top very often. Soldier going into attack mode. Not sure what he'll try to do with J.L. on the top rope here. This is going to be hard. This is such... Uh, a large man for a soldier to try to pick up, but it looks like he's going to try to go for a superplex here. And he is, yeah, he's struggling to pick him up. I don't know if he's going to be able to get him up. Oh, wow, J.L. Rose picked him up and dumped him. But, hey, soldier landed on his feet. Throwing in a forearm shot. He climbs right back up there. Going to try to do it again. And once again, J.L. Rose not budging. And the soldier is shoved off, and this time he landed flat on his back. And J.L. Rose says, maybe the top rope's not for me, and decides to climb back down. But the soldier with a kip up, and what's he going to do here? Going to the top. Oh, man, he got an insecurity kick. And, oh, my goodness, J.L. Rose falls through the table on the outside. That was the timekeeper's table that he slung Soldier off of earlier. And J.L. Rose, holy cow, what a fall from the ropes all the way down through the table. And you see that thing is just splintered. Here comes a replay. Looks like an insecurity kick got him right on the side of the face. He was trying to hold on, but could not do it as he lost his grip 
and fell right through the table at ringside. J.L. Rose is just struggling to get to his feet. And Justin Michaels is even trying to, to help him get up. He can't do it, and the bell rings. And ladies and gentlemen, the su Suicidal Soldier is going to win via countout. And while that is an incredible victory for him, it is unfortunately not a pinfall or a submission. So therefore, J.L. Rose will retain the, the NHW Pride Championship. And here comes Scarface Waylon Barley. Well, there you heard the official announcement. The winner of the match via countout is the Suicidal Soldier, but the NHW Pride Championship stays home with JL Rose, and now the Suicidal Soldier outnumbered as Waylon Barley comes and joins the NHW. Here comes Paul Jordan, and now everything is even, two on two, and I tell you what, the Waylon Barley and JL Rose scattered like cockroaches. Whenever Paul Jordan came into the ring, I don't know if Paul even knows what happened with his brother from earlier. As J.L. Rose was talking smack to him and then even threw Suicidal Soldier into him. But it looks like some sort of alliance formed here, maybe just for the time being. The, the, friend, of, of, uh, the, the friend of Suicidal Soldier, Paul Jordan, coming out. And, and hey, the odds are all together now. And uh, we may see something go down right here, but it looks like the uh, Untamed Defiance guys are rethinking some things, that's for sure. That is incredible. You heard the, the challenge issued by Paul Jordan. He wants a tag team match. He and the Suicidal Soldier versus J.L. Rose and Waylon Barley. And Justin Michaels, the leader of Untamed Defiance, said, you got it. We will bring that to you next week right here on New Heights Wrestling. Oh, that's the shot you want to start on? That's the shot you want to start on, Mr. Cameraman? The damage done to J.L. Rose? What you need to be looking at is this, right here, the Pride Championship, because it is still around J.L. Rose's waist. That's right, Trey Soldier. Yeah, you got a fluke win. A count out win versus the champ. And how did you do it? You had to put my man through a table. You couldn't do it on your own. And then you were about to get what you deserve. And your little friend, Paul Jordan, had to come and stick his nose in our business. Let me ask you something, Paul. Do you remember this? Yeah, this used to be yours. But it's not anymore! And Trey Soldier, you will never get your hands on this Pride Championship. And now, after you come and stick your nose in our business, you want to challenge us to a tag title match. 
No, there's no titles. That's later. That's later. That's on the docket. No, no, the hard No, way. for real, though. What, what's the point with the match? Like, I didn't ask for no tag match or nothing. No. And you want to no, do a no, tag No, Paul match. Jordan asked for the match. And what we, what we doing accepting it? Why are we accepting the tag match for them? What do you mean, why are we going to accept it? You saw not, Trey Soldier to put you through that table. Paul Jordan comes out and sticks his nose in our business. Untamed Defiance business. And you're going to let him get away with it? Every person out there in that crowd saw what happened. They saw Trey's soldier's hand raised in victory. How's it make you feel, JL? How's it make you feel? So tonight, Untamed Defiance heads back out into battle. Round two for JL Rose. He don't ever stop fighting. And Paul Jordan, Trey Soldier, you will regret your decisions from earlier tonight.